In July of 2021, the township of Westport endured a significant flood event. It affected our residents, the people, their homes and their livelihoods. It also impacted on our infrastructure. The solid waste recovery operation as part of this event was significant. The following is that story. Our usual monthly tonnage is around 100 tonnes. Uh, a big month is usually around 200 tonnes. So we're doing that in a day pretty much now. Yesterday was over 135 tonnes. This event has taught us that uh, just, just be kind to your neighbours and uh, you know what, we live in a beautiful place and we've got some really awesome people here. There's been people just out helping people day and night. Um, we're very lucky. We all sought sending them to landfill, so our local landfill, which would be York Valley up Nelson, but currently we're having to ship it to Greymouth because that's our quick capacity rate turnover so we can get those bins free and welcoming for those domestic waste. My name is Lieutenant Daniel Lastavica. I'm the liaison officer here with the Emergency Operations Centre and a logistics officer from 3rd Combat Service Support Battalion located in Burnham. So this experience has been vast and changing for all the soldiers here involved. Uh, we arrived last Friday and we've been involved in a huge variety of tasks starting from the evacuations on both Friday and Saturday, shipping people around the town to welfare centres, moving the hospital out and moving them to their temporary place in Bullock Club, moving into bringing the caterer support to provide us assistance to the responders and feeding those people. We've been catering for up to 400 people and then also assisting with the solid waste removal throughout the town. The biggest observation of the community has just been people I don't even know just doing amazing stuff and my neighbours came in en masse and their families were with them and they just took all the wet carpets out and that was just amazing. I've never found anything like it. It's, and I went in to buy a new dog bed because my dog bed had got wet and muddy and the lady in front of me had just donated a gift card to the first flood victim that came through next and it happened to be me so it was all paid for. And yeah, such generosity, it's just incredible. Family and friends welfare, I think they've been looking after me more than I've been looking after them. Um, friends have been really generous and my son, he's just, I couldn't have coped without him. He knows that. So this is going out to the old wholesome site at um, Cape Falwyn there, so there's nothing there. Uh, the buildings are long gone so yeah we're just dumping there. We were dumping at the dump yesterday and that became a bit overwhelmed so there was another big massive a big 20 tonne digger there with a grapple on just stockpiling while we were going in there. At, at one stage all the trailers were in there as well because everything was everywhere so we just had to be patient. The other day I closed the doors because I had to deal with it um, and customers went to get a coffee and the doors were like closed and they came around here and spent two days helping me, you know, people that I can't tell you their last name but I can tell you what they drink, <laughs> um, yeah, and, and like to the Fresh Choice van that they lent me because I had no transport, to your wife and Emily doing what they did so I could have, it, it, it's just amazing, people have just been so amazing. Trying to safeguard my livelihood while trying to clean up or deal with a devastated home has is, is been, you know, really big. I've had to carry on working um, as much as I can throughout because I've still got a mortgage 
to pay even though I haven't got a home to live in. Um, and, and my 90 year old mum lived with me, so making sure that she's okay, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah. To ensure my family's welfare, we've been really lucky we've found a place to live, which is really important for us because our house has obviously had water through it and we've got three young children, uh, the youngest being three months old, so we were lucky enough a really good friend has taken in his brother-in-law into his house and so we've uh, had the we've got the brother-in-law's house beautiful spot out Cape Fowl and we're really really uh, grateful and appreciative of that um, and just the other thing like for my sons trying to get back into some structure and some routine getting back into school back into kindy trying to continue with life and so I think over the next few weeks that's important uh, get back into the sport get back into school and just try to enjoy life, get back to the playgrounds and hopefully if it stays fine to the beach and, and enjoy what the West Coast has to offer.